Hello friends. In this lecture, we will discuss about the feature extraction from two dimensional color images. So let us start. Before starting, let me clear one thing that the features of an image can be extracted by its content. Content like color, texture, shape, position, dominant edges of image items and regions etc. Now in this video, we will use color content of an image to extract the features of that image, right? Let us take an example. Here we have an image of sunset. And we all know that an image can be represented in the form of pixels. So this is the representation of this sunset image in the form of pixels. Next step is to draw the histogram of this image. I am assuming that there are only 256 colors which are used in this image. I mean the color of any pixel in this image lies in the range of these 256 colors. In this histogram, we have colors on the x-axis and the pixel count percentage on y-axis. I have taken some dummy values to explain this point. For example, 75% of the pixels in this image are bright red colors. 80% of the pixels in this image are pink color. Here, 80% of the pixels are light blue color and so on. Through this histogram, we have got a vector of 256 colors and these values are nothing but the color features of this image. Now instead of storing this image, we will store these 256 values in the database and we will repeat this process for all the images we are having. So now we have a database of images and each image is nothing but a vector of 256 values. Now if anyone wants to perform searching in this database, by giving a query image as input. For example, you may want to find all the images similar to this query image. So first step is to apply same steps to this query image. That is draw the histogram and get the 256 values corresponding to this query image also. Then using some distance function, we can calculate the distance of the query image with all other images in the database, right? less the distance value, more is the similarity. So anyhow, we can retrieve images and display results. Till now, everything seems to work fine. But this approach faces two problems. First one is the dimensionality curse and second one is the crosstalk. Dimensionality curse problem means having large number of dimensions or features and in this example, we have seen each image is having 256 features, which increases the time complexity of comparing two images when each image is having 256 features. So we should try to reduce the number of features first. Got it? Next problem is the crosstalk, which says that the colors which are very close to each other needs to be considered while calculating the distance. And this leads to more time complexity. For example, the bright red component of query image has to be compared not only to the bright red color component of other image, but also to the pink and orange colors etc. Which are the component of other image. So crosstalk problem also increases the time complexity of searching. Now let's see the approach 2 in which we will try to reduce the number of features. Actually, we are doing the same thing as discussed in generic multimedia object indexing approach. As seen earlier, image can be represented in the form of pixels, right? Now in this approach, to extract features of an image, instead of creating histogram, we will use the concept of RGB colors, which says that a color can be formed by mixing the specific percentages of red, green, and blue colors. So I can say that each pixel is having specific value of RGB colors that is red, green and blue color by mixing of which that pixel color is formed. See the figure and try to understand the point 
Now next step is to take the average of all the red color values of all the pixels. Take the average of all the green color values of all the pixels and take the average of all the blue color values of all the pixels. So finally we are having only three values which represents the sunset image that is R average, G average and B average. Let me summarize what we have done in approach 2. An image can be represented in the form of pixels. Then I said that each pixel color is nothing but the mixture of red, green and blue color in particular proportion and then took the average of R values, G values and B values of all the pixels. These three values are the features of this sunset image which is stored in the database. Searching process is same as we discussed in approach 1. Here we have solved the problem of dimensionality curves by reducing the number of features. Also we have solved the problem of crosstalk. I mean we will only compare the R value of one image with the R value of other image and not with the G and B values of other image. So that's all in this lecture. For more information see the description area and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.